Hi, welcome to the tutorial on setting up and processing advanced variable numerator single tiered allocations for a joint venture. The objectives of the tutorial are to understand advanced variable numerator allocations for joint ventures, set up specifications to allocate the expense to joint venture business units, and compute and review the allocated amounts. The indirect cost incurred by the managing partner can be allocated to one or more business units that benefited from the cost. The indirect costs will only be included in the distribution process after the costs are allocated. After the costs are allocated to the business units, the allocated amounts are distributed to the partners, including the managing partner. Advanced Variable Numerator Allocations is a feature in the J.D. Edwards financial system that enables you to perform various types of allocations. Use the allocation type, Joint Venture Base Allocations, to allocate indirect costs to the joint venture. The system enables you to allocate indirect costs to a single tier or to multiple tiers in the joint venture hierarchy. In this tutorial, you will allocate indirect costs to a single tier of business units in the hierarchy. To use the joint venture base allocations, you must set up the following specifications. Set up two versions for each of these programs. Deselect F0902, source basis R091234B. And the select F09J30S, source basis the R09J30S. You will use the data selection of these versions to specify the source and basis data for the allocation. First, let's create the two versions of the R09123B program and set up the data selection for the versions. Access the Advanced Variable Numerator Setup Program, P09123B, and then click the button Create Source Basis Data Selection Versions for Account Balance Base Allocations. On the Add Version form, enter a version and version title. You will create one version to select the source transactions from the account balances table F0902 and another version to select the transactions for the base on factor or the basis from the F0902 table. Provide identifiable names for the versions and version titles so that you can easily identify the source and basis versions. Then, in the data selection form for the source version, specify the object accounts that the system will use to select the source expense transactions to allocate. For example, if you are allocating the telephone expense incurred by the managing business unit 981 to the other business units, your data selection must include the object account for the telephone expense for the business unit 981. And in the data selection form for the basis version, specify the object accounts that the system will use to select the basis on which the expense will be allocated. For example, if the telephone expense is to be allocated based on the headcount of each business unit, then your data selection must include the object account for the headcount. Next, Set up one version for the RO9J30S program for the basis data. To access the RO9J30S program, click the button Create Source Basis Joint Venture Data Selection Versions for Joint Venture Base Allocations on the Advanced Variable Numerator Allocation Setup form. The RO9J30S program enables you to select the joint venture data to be combined with the data selected from the account balances table, F0902. For example, if you want to allocate the telephone expense to all the business units in a joint venture, you must specify the joint venture name in the data selection for the basis version. Now, you will create an allocation rule and add the versions of the RO9123B and RO9J30S programs to the rule. To create the allocation rule, access the Advanced Variable Numerator program, P09123. On the Specify Advanced Variable Numerator computation form, specify the allocation type as Joint Venture Base Allocation. Ensure that the posting sequence field is left blank. 
we use this field to control the sequence for multi-tiered allocations. On the source basis tab, complete the fields in the three sections. In the data selection field on the source specifications section of the form, specify the version of the RO9J123B program that you have created. Use the other fields to add additional filters to the source account balances data selected using the source version of the RO9123B program. Similarly, specify the basis version of the RO9123B program in the data selection field and use the other fields to add additional filters to the data selected using this program. The ratio field provides you the ability to select data based on business unit, business unit type, related business unit, and business unit category codes. Then, in the data selection field on the joint venture section of the form, specify the basis version of the RO9J30S program that you have created. And, use the other fields to add additional filters to the selected basis joint venture data. For example, you can specify a business unit operational status to select the data associated with the basis business unit that have this operational status. To compute the allocation and post allocation entries, run the Compute Advanced Variable Numerator Allocations Program, RO9123. Use the PDF report of your RO9123 batch to review information about the allocated amounts or units. You can review the allocation entries using the Allocations Journal Review Program, POO11. To learn more about how to set up and process single-tiered allocations for a joint venture, visit the set of task-based tutorials, Allocating Expense Across a Joint Venture Based on Headcount, in the Learning Path, Creating and Managing Joint Ventures in J.D. Edwards Enterprise One. You can access the learning path from learnjde.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.